Hey everyone, I'm Brian with the Dollar Tucci Branch Library, and today is Traveling Tuesday. Traveling Tuesday! Tuesday. And uh, this is your captain speaking. So, as you can see, I'm on the plane right now, and I'm getting ready to land at my destination. But I bet you never know where I'm going to go. Some place I've always wanted to visit my entire life. So, let's go find out where I'm going. Come on. Alright everyone, I'm here, and as you can see from what's behind me, I'm sure you can guess where I'm at. But just in case you've been living under a rock for the last 5,000 years, I'm in Egypt. And those pyramids behind me, that's how old they are, 5,000 years. At least that's what's estimated, okay? Now, I have 10 fun facts here for you about Egypt, okay? So pay attention because you might learn something and it might be very interesting. So. The Egyptians invented the 365 day calendar. And the reason why they did this is because every year the Nile River flooded and they needed to know exactly when so that they can plan their crops around the flooding. So that's the first fact, okay? Second fact is the world's oldest dress was found here 5,000 years ago. Ain't that pretty cool? It's an old dress. <laughs> The Great Pyramids were not built by slaves. A lot of people think that they're built by slaves. It's a common myth. But they were actually built by people who were paid, paid workers. And they did it to honor their pharaoh or their leader. Now, here goes another little side fact, okay? A lot of people believe, not a lot, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but some people believe that the pyramids were built with the help of aliens. A lot of people believe that the pharaohs were actually aliens that came down. Um, if you ever get a chance, check out this show, Ancient Aliens. It talks a lot about this stuff, and it's very interesting. They bring up a lot of, like, cool theories and stuff. So check that out if you have a chance. All right, number four. The Greater Cairo, the city of Cairo, is the largest city in Africa and the Middle East. And it has a population of 22 million people. That's like over 10 times the amount of Philadelphia. It's like, that's huge. That's huge. Also, there are 5 million Facebook users in Egypt. So next time you're on Facebook, look up someone from Egypt. Become friends with someone from Egypt. Why not, right? Maybe they can tell you more about the pyramids than I can. Who knows? The most popular sport in Egypt is football. Well... Not our football. That's just what they call it. It's actually soccer. And they call it that because you use your feet. So it's football. You get it? All right. Number seven. Every city had their own god in ancient times. Or their favorite god. So that's pretty cool. Depending on what city you went to, they would have like their own favorite god. Now, Egypt is also home to the world's largest dam. And I hope I'm pronouncing this right, but it's called the Aswan High Dam. And it was built to contain the, the waters from the Nile, you know. Uh, also, number nine, Egypt's official language is Arabic. Not surprising, it's very close to the Middle East, and that's what most people in that region speak, I believe. And then number ten, Egypt has more than 3,451 hours of sun every year. That's a sunny place. Aswan is the third sunniest place in the world with 3,863 hours of sun. That's 10 hours of sun a day. So if you're looking for some extra sun, come come with me to Egypt. You know, you got to come down and visit, you know, while I'm here. Because it's very sunny here, as you can see, you know. So I hope that you liked all these interesting facts that I brought to you. And stay tuned because you never know where I might travel to next week. And also check back tomorrow for Whoa Wednesday, where I'm going to show you a cool science project that's going to make you go, whoa. All right. So until next time, I'll see you all later and have a good day. Bye.